What's up, guys? Today is Friday. Finally, Friday, because today's the best day of the week. There's Hamilton, and you know what's outside. So let's go take a look and see what's on the Snap On Trip today. You guys, come on. I got it figured out. I might just come get the truck one day and sell tell and let you have a day off. I, I appreciate a day off. <laughs> Anytime I get a day off is good. <laughs> we'll have some bargains on here today. <laughs> like y'all need some ratchets. We got three for the price of two. Buy three, get one free. That's what I'm you talking about. Ratchet. Buy one, get two free. Plier no, sale. One, get two free. Yeah, pick that any, better. Pick anything off this shelf right here you want. Buy two, you get two. You gotta buy two. For the price of two toes, you can have two ratchets. That's it. Hamilton be like, what's this bucket of body parts? Right. <laughs> <laughs> we worked it out. If you just want to cut a toe or a finger off, this be the one that you'd want to do with it. <laughs> Clean cut. Some bad little dudes. Wally, how much is your pinky worth? You just want to see how good it is. <laughs> see if you can go all the way through the bone in one lick. Ooh. See your finger up there, Wally. Hey, you could uh, give Wally a vasectomy. He could drop his. Oh. All right, drop Wally. Drop him on the bottom side in <laughs> one <laughs> click. Wally's finger size, vasectomy size. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've got some super glue in there, Wally. Here's my IQ. <laughs> one. <laughs> Number one, Hamilton. There'd be, uh, there'd be no more Wallys there. Uh-uh. Well, we'll have to worry about a Wally Jr. I don't think that needs to be anyways. Wait, you, how much you going to charge for that bisectomy? <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Go ahead and fix it up real quick. Yeah, right now. <laughs> Somebody's wanting to see all your ratchets. <laughs> Not that they're going somewhere. <laughs> Wally on the other side of the line again. He stays on the other side of the yeah. line. He said somebody wants to see all of it. Here's another one right here. That's the I'm talking about a vasectomy, so you know, two and two clicks <laughs> my noggin, I can't help it. Just hush while you're still ahead. Wally. I don't care. I'm never ahead. Bill always gives the best <laughs> advice, don't he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have advice time with, with yeah. SOB. That's it. And his own little shot. The best advice from Bill. Hey, it'd be a five-minute right. clip this every is a Wednesday. Good one, Hamilton, you like this one, Bill? Yeah. Tell everybody about what happened yesterday. What a irate driver. Yeah. So this guy comes in, has to get authorization from his company to work on his truck. Well, he gets all pissed off at us. <clears throat> thinking it's our fault. No, he didn't get the whole story before he starts throwing his little temper tantrum. So he made the mistake of walking back out or walking out to Clay and having some words with him and then he went over to the office door and slammed the door. Boy, that's a no-no. Y'all office door over here? Yeah, yeah. In, in the shop. Like slammed it hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course, I done stepped outside to use the men's room. <laughs> I come back in and Clay's face was about as red as snap on uh, a snap, snap on, on cover good. right there. Yeah. I said, man, what's going on? And he got to tell me. I was like, oh lord. I mean, this was time to go home, and I was going to. I was going to wait around just in case he decided he wanted to have other words with Clay, <clears throat> because somebody was fixing that to call an ambulance, and I knew Clay <laughs> would be too mad to be making any kind of phone calls. Like, it didn't work out too well for me. Slam the door. I went in there and explained to him how things worked around here. And uh, it, it got better from there. <laughs> he, he came on around? Yep. He had an attitude change after that. Sometimes it takes a little persuading, yeah, conversating. Or... He acted ugly for a little bit. He was from up north, and I guess he thought he could get away with that. It didn't work too well. well. You can get away with a lot of that stuff up there most of the time. Sometimes I did. See, I didn't but, care if we fixed his truck or not. He needed us way more than we needed him. Yeah. I'll put it that way. 
you know, he was been out of shape because we let the company know about one o'clock what the problem was, and they had to approve all repairs, and they waited till five o'clock to give the approval, and of course you gotta get the parts at that point. So anyway, he didn't quite understand, but we explained it. And he got the message after that. He couldn't make it home. But... Play Valentine's with his girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever it is he had at home. <laughs> Nice, hey, I'm being nice. Be nice. <laughs> Bill, don't judge. I'm Whatever not discriminating against nothing. <laughs> All right, Lolly, I'm going to apologize to you just in case last week I might have said something hurt your feelings, offended you or something. We're pretty good friends most of the time, ain't we? Mm -hmm. Cause at midnight, last Friday night, my phone starts going off. And first time I reach over and hit the silent button. Then it goes off again five minutes later. Some guy calling me. Well, I hit the silent button again. Y'all, I'm trying to sleep. Check my voicemail next day. I got some dude irate because I give Wally too hard of a damn time. <laughs> and I need to get off Wally's back a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're getting the phone call. <laughs> Thank you. Is it 11.30 or 12.30 on Friday night? I can't remember. <laughs> but you should have called him back about four that morning. I did call him back at about four fifteen because I got up went hunting Saturday morning. So of course they didn't answer at four fifteen my time, just like I didn't answer at twelve thirty my time or eleven thirty. I can't remember what time it was. Oh, God. But, That's funny yeah. right if I get more phone calls at eleven thirty or twelve thirty on Friday night, I'm posting your number on YouTube up here for everybody. To <laughs> Yeah, better star 67. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was going to apologize to Wally if I hurt his feelings, which he only got one feeling, and I don't think I heard it. No, I don't really feel that feeling anyway. <laughs> well, you got anything new this week? I would, like, I got more of the brutes in, the yellow and the green, sold them. I have, I'm supposed to be getting some more of them coming this next week. Got the new aluminum jack. In last night, I didn't put it on the truck. I was busy putting this toolbox on here. Um, but I have it on here next week if we still got it by then. It's pretty neat. What about the mugs? Did you get the mugs in? I haven't got my mugs back yet. Oh, I got some I stuff I got to get more of. Because somebody, remember, I was just bragging about how dependable Bill was today. And he forgot to remind me. But thankfully, <laughs> I remember myself. <laughs> Hey, whoa, 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 wait, wait a minute. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, let me run and get it. I'll be right back. I'm going to hold the camera. Y'all can see how big uh, Bill's writing is. You can read his text messages from way back there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look here. Oh, Snap-on extension warranty. <laughs> For some reason, it didn't go through. I was talking about Bill. Oh, yeah. Android. 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 And now he let me down. <laughs> and... I got another funny story to tell you. All right. That's kind of funny. The, uh, they were exposed by uh, my camera. <laughs> so, uh, I was sitting in the recliner and I got it and I noticed I got a war spot in my chair. I'm like, how in the world is this thing wearing out like this? Because, you know, I wear that snap on multi, multi tool, yeah. tool on my side. Well, the point has wore through. <laughs> The, the end of my pouch. And it's worth <laughs> in my recliner. I said, uh oh. <laughs> Get that fixed. Can't tell about that one then. Oh, well, she doesn't know. Oh, she <laughs> <laughs> ain't that's getting how, that past her. That's how I knew. <laughs> <laughs> Eric and Clay, he'd be leaning out of the recliner. So, I don't see it. I still don't see what you're talking oh, about. You can see it. Because it's like a dark uh, brown, sort of like a football looking color yeah and it's beat through to the, like the rawhide look mm. so, yeah I'm like, how's that doing that mm, i've seen the bottom of my pouch i was like yep that's it i need i need one of them too a pouch yeah <laughs> just, <laughs> the cutters i mean the pliers doing good the pouch just died <laughs> what you doing with these on here instead of the those fine snap-on pliers, snap-on version of them. Because everybody knows there's one thing on snap-on ain't no sale, and that's gonna be the vice grips. <laughs> <laughs> what 
bought my lock cylinder from my box, from my roll cart. Did you get it ordered? Did it come in yet? I have to go look and see what code yours is. I got a couple locks in. K678, I believe. So if y'all want to get in Bill's box, order you a K678 and come to the shop mm -hmm. and unlock it and help yourself to Bill's high-vis or green tools. No, I was wrong. Wrong number. I can tell everybody. <laughs> K678. <laughs> so if y'all got a K678 key and uh, you don't need it no more, Bill needs a spare. Oh, never tell. <laughs> Bill needs a spare. That way when Wally loses it, he can still get in his box. Always got to be Wally's fault. Always. Every time. Dude, don't blame my wallet now. Y'all be getting phone calls. <laughs> <It'll not. laughs> We're going to put their numbers in right down here. You what? <laughs> We're going to put their numbers in down at the bottom. <laughs> Call Bill at 3 o'clock in the morning, why don't you? <laughs> why? Why don't you answer the phone, Hamilton? <laughs> you should have handed the phone to your wife. Uh, yeah. Let her talk to him. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to wake her up from the sleep. Dude. Well, she hurt somebody's feelings, Hamilton. Yeah. It, is it kind of like no a shame. commercial, you know, where don't wake the bear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bear don't, when they walk around the house, they don't walk around way outside, don't wake her up. They like tip -tip. Yeah. <laughs> there ain't no slamming doors in. No. There you go. I get up and get ready in the dark so I don't wake her up. You know, that's, that's about like, <laughs> you know, that's, that's about like my mother-in-law. She's a good Christian woman. You call and wake her up at 5:30, 6 o'clock in the morning, and you'll see horns pop out of her Satan. head. She gets Satan evil, come on, yeah. <laughs> quick. I don't blame her. She'll stay up all night long, do whatever, <laughs> anything I want to do. Once she goes to bed, don't wake her up until right. she gets up. I get up early every day. I can't say I blame her. I don't want to get woke up either. All right, guys. Well, I guess we're gonna turn this thing off. We got a truck in there. We got a fix. All that good stuff. Check the links down in the description. We got some cool tools, discount codes, all that good stuff. And if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. And click that subscribe button right down there. Y'all have a great week. And uh, don't slam the doors. Don't call Hamilton. <laughs> and uh, don't cuss Bill. Y'all have a good one. Catch you next time. <laughs>